Hello, how you doing, friends? Welcome to another video. Today is uh, Wednesday, the 16th. This is your friend, Jay Flores. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us tonight or today, depending on where you see this video. I want to welcome all new subscribers. Welcome to this channel where all I do, all we do is to analyze a few pairs. We pretty much check this this uh, line of pairs right here on the forex market and we're in the middle of the week right now and just want to welcome all the new subscribers please if this is of your benefit in any way shape or form please click that like so we'll help the the channel my goal it's uh, to be able to do live trading um oops that's uh my wife is doing some barbecue down there and uh, that uh, alarm goes on when you start barbecuing <laughs> anyways um welcome everybody and where was it okay we're gonna check the pairs um we just had like very strong news today so i only have taken two trades this week <clears throat> uh, let me show you guys this trade it was on the on the 616 that was pretty much very um, early I took a sell on the USD JPY and a buy in the alt USD that was before the news on the 30 minute time frame and I was able to collect on the out USD. You can see the date. I mean, I cannot, I cannot lie to you if I'm showing you this. It's uh, 7703, and uh, and uh, I closed at a 77.22, so that was like 19 um, pips. And on the sell USD JPY, I opened the trade at 109.96, and I. Close it at 109.79, so 109.80, so it was like 16 pips on that one. And then just I I didn't trade during the the news, so pretty much we got to start from fresh tonight and in the morning. But so far I got those two trades that were they were in the positive, um, so the system and my analysis or the way i see the markets i mean it's it's working okay so um new people might say okay that's a very small account yes it is a small account i don't use my regular account to show the videos i use this one right here uh for different reasons okay um but every week you can see check or not if i'm catching those pips if I wanted to lie to you, I mean, I will get like a demo account and collect hundreds of pips and, you know, it's, it's, and, um, demo is easier to do it. Obviously there's, there's no psychological game, uh, but live, I mean, that's why I'm showing you that, that amount of pips because that's normally what I'm going for, for now, I'm, I'm going for in between 10 to 20 to 30 pips around that area. All depends, you know, the indicators are telling me that the market, it's going to keep going my way. I'm definitely going to let, let the, the trade run for longer periods of time. But that's basically what I'm doing. I'm using the simplicity system and I'm using the two easy indicators. So it's, it's from the same company, super easy. Uh, triple arrows, is, they will show in this area over here. Let's see if I can find one that your USD triple arrows will show either on the sell or the buy zone if it shows anywhere else I'm not interested in them okay I'm only looking in this area or in this area sell zone buy zone triple arrows then I look at the indicators if they're all lined up the way we need it and the strength is telling me that the strength is correct and the right the correct way I take the trades. I've been doing this. Um, I've been trading for a while, but I've been testing this straightforward and showing the results every single week and every single 
pretty much every single week, two times a week, and for the last six weeks, and I've been in the positive um, all the time. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be in the positive all the time because we all have losses. By the way, I, I, I keep disliking, you know, when people use the word, I knew it, I told you guys this was going to happen. Uh, that sounds to me a little bit cocky, so please uh, um, try not to listen to these people. Cause I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Nobody knows in reality what the market is going to do. One thing, it is true, the more experience you get, you kind of have a gut feeling of what's what could happen. But nobody knew. Nobody knows exactly where the market is going to go. We go by indicators. We go by trends. Sometimes fundamentals. Fundamental, excuse me. And um, so you get an edge on the market when you learn this when you get experience you have some sort of an edge to try to make money to be more times right than more times incorrect so but i don't know i don't like it i told you guys i told you guys it was that that's what it was gonna do you didn't take the trade i'm sorry about you but you should it just get this program you need it I'm telling you guys, it's all about experience. It's all about being disciplined. And, um, for example, if there's news, I mean, don't trade during news. There's no need. I mean, there's plenty of time for, to trade other times. Um, it's all about discipline. It's all about experience. And if we find systems like this system, it can help you. But you need the edge on your side. I mean, you guys know. I mean, if you even if you have the best indicator in the world, but if you don't have enough experience, if you're not disciplined to follow a few steps, I mean, you, you can't make money. Pretty much, you gotta you gotta do it right. Follow steps. Do it right. Don't get cocky. Always stay humble. Never use the words "I knew it." Never use the well. I never use the words "I told you guys." No, 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 never do that because only God knows everything. And that's my opinion, <laughs> even for the markets. Okay. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Sorry for just spread it out like that. Um, so we're going to keep going. Uh, what are we waiting for the next day? So let's check it out. Your USD. Oh, by the way, um, I did mention on Sunday and I recommended everybody to check, um, to check for for news and one of the sites that I that I use is a uh, forest factory calendar and you go there you can see exactly what's gonna happen Sunday what's gonna happen Monday as far as news and these are the news for different currencies you got orange you got yellow and you got red what you're trying to avoid is the red ones okay because those are the strongest or the strong, the high impact, and you can read it right there. I mean, self-explanatory, high impact expected. Okay, so, so what happened today? For example, Wednesday, June 16, the one of the strongest news we were waiting was um, where was that? The USD, uh, the rate for the interest what was that. Da, da, da. Tuesday for retail sale. This these are important too. But the most important one is gonna be around two. I don't know what happened to it. He was here. Uh trim wholesales building permits. We're on the right dates. Let me see. June fifteen. Oh, okay, the sixteen right here. Uh, employment rate, that's for CY, two, two, three, German, CPI, they lost that, 11 a.m., anyways, oh, right here, oh, come on, George, okay, USD, 
economic projections right here that was at 11 a.m okay so and crude, this one was very important to recruit all inventories and uh look what i found out today if you if you click on the folder right there it explains you we're looking at the usd the us dollar right and then if you click on this folder right there and if you see this usual e effect actual less than forecast is good for currency meaning that the currency so actual less than forecast is good for currency okay so the actual is this line right here the forecast is the center and let me see am i correct yeah actual forecast and previous so when you look at any news you go click on the on that folder here and it's going to give you a lot of information here what it is the measures the effect the frequency when it's going to be the next one and stuff like that but this is a more important one for me because this actual less than forecast is forecast is good for currency so let me close it so oh, which one was that it was right here uh no 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 the oil what am i doing right there so that was the uh forecast the forecast was uh minus 2.1 but it was um, 7.4 so the actual is higher so it was actually negative for our US dollar in this case but uh, look at the most important thing is ev what everybody was looking for it was the federal fund rates okay right here and and look at what happened the actual was 0 0.25 previous one was 0. Point, this is an interest rate okay and that forecasted change 0 0.25 0 and the actual uh forecast 0 0.25 and the actual 0 0.25 so they kept it the same so guess what happened to the dollar let's let's read how this works so actual greater than forecast is good for currency so if we go to the dollar we had good news there the most important the most important was the the rate okay the federal fund rates right there so let me get rid of this what happened to the dollar the dollar drop the dollar well in this case in the euro dollar remember if this in the euro dollar this pair is the price action goes up the euro is stronger but if the price <clears throat> excuse me is the price action drops the dollar is stronger so the fact that that news was telling you that the rate was balanced pretty much it would they kept it the same and strengthened the dollar and they dropped it okay Look at that drop. Let me show you another pair. Use USDJPY. So in the USDJPY, the dollar was the stronger one today. So what happened? Look, boom. Because the dollar is what we're in this case in USDJPY. If the price action goes up, means that the dollar is stronger. If the price action goes down, means that the JPY is the stronger. Let's look, let's look, NCD, USD. So NCD, okay, is, it's, it's, it's uh, pretty much losing the game against the dollar because it dropped, okay? So it has this big drop right there for the news. All right, so just want to point that out. It's a very good idea to see that. that I discovered that uh, today. And to be honest, I didn't when i was going through those those news right there I, I just clicked there okay what did that mean exactly like how do you know i know it was about the federal reserve for you know for the interest you can read it interest rate at which depository institutions land balances held at the federal reserve to other depository institutions overnight 
and it tells you, okay, if this happened, you know that it's going to be great for the currency. So, you know, and they do it frequency schedule eight times per week when they discuss it, discuss this. But we're going to, with this calendar, we can, that's why we see it every week. The way we know what's coming for the, for the coming week, pretty much. Just want to share that with you. I don't want to say that I knew what's going to happen. No, nobody knew. Nobody knew. Okay. So. Let's keep going. So what are we waiting? Um, looking for triple arrows in the zones. Let's see if we find one. We don't have one there yet, but it's in the cell zone. Uh, we have triple arrows here. It's pulling back as we speak. But in the morning, very early in the morning, if I see this coming down, I'll probably enter. And we'll see what happens. Let's see you cat. Okay, that one, it's a uh, triple arrows in the metal, not interested, Alcad. In the metal, no, interested. Not interested. Mm -mm. APNCD. It's close to the Zell zone, but not, not the way I like it. USB cat. I like this price action here, you know, small candles only for the news that we had today. But if I see an entrance and a USD CAD, because the dollar is stronger, if I see an entrance, I'm just going to go in. Okay. So. I'm sorry, I'm backwards on this one. The dollar is is the price hacking up. So, yeah. I, I didn't know if I would go in. This, that, that's what's going to make me doubt myself. Because the news was beneficial for the dollar. In this case, I will have to look like the four hour. Yeah, the four hour is strong, you know, the river is going up. So I don't know if I would took that one after new in the news afternoon that the four hours coming up. So, okay, so USD, USD JPY is going up to USD CHF. It's, it's going to be going up to because of the dollar out USD, out USD, it's, it's, you know, you can do a pullback and I can catch some pullbacks too, don't get me wrong. But the dollar is supposed to go, um, uh, the dollar is supposed to, the price action should go down here because the dollar is stronger. Let me look at the four hour. Yeah, we're still in the, down the river here. Okay. 30 minutes. GP, JPY. Don't like it too much. Shout out to JPY. And you be odd. Cat CHF. That was a really good trade right there. Beautiful. That was a beautiful trade right there. And your JPY. I like this one. I like if we get triple arrows later. Well, those those one of them, the ones I can check it out. If this coming down, this coming down, maybe it could be a pullback. We'll, we'll see it later. If we catch a little pullback there, I'll see a Jeff. Um, one of the things that I also read is uh, there's a, a Canadian uh, dollar also. So the CAD and the odd, I know they get affected a lot with the oil, oil supply. So NCDCHF. Not interested. Not for today. That one looks good. Uh, what is the four hour direction? Coming down. So we can catch a small pullback too on that one if it's possible. Catch APY. Same thing. Euro CHF. No good. Out in CD. No good. Euro and CD. That's a nice continuation trade right there. Beautiful continuation trade. Very, very nice. Okay, EuroCAD. That will work real, real, real good. NCD, JPY, and we're going to be done. Not good. Triple arrow in the metals. Don't like that. And NCD, USD. That was looking kind of okay. We'll see what happens later. And your USD. Okay. 
Well, thank you, friends, uh, again, one more time for spending a few minutes with me. Um, I see you guys back on Saturday. I think next week we should have a little bit less, uh, very strong news, so that would be a good training week next week. I mean, it's been good training weeks for the past, but sometimes we have to stop trading. And that's part of discipline, too. I mean, you got to learn how not to trade. It's hard sometimes because you're used to trade all the time and you're thinking, oh, I'm getting older and I'm not trading. I'm not getting ahead. But you know what? That that kind of thinking, it, it gets you behind because you take uh, bad decisions when you're, you know, in a rush, when you're stressed like that. So don't give up, friends. Don't give up. You're going to make it happen. If you stick in this and I'm successful, you guys are going to be successful because I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys how to do it if I'm doing it and I've been doing it for a while. Okay. So I'm, I'm never, uh, at least my plans are never to sell a course or nothing like that. All I'm doing is just getting a, a, um, this channel right here and this channel helps in any ways it helps me in a way that um i have a a responsibility every week because i have a good amount of subscribers so i i feel that responsibility it keeps me on my toes you know i got to be sharp enough i got to be doing good and now that i have the compromise to show my trades i mean even more okay so god bless you all if you guys have any questions, if you guys gonna buy, if you guys gonna buy this simplicity system, please let me know because they do pay a um, a uh, commission on it, um, and it's a good system. I, I'm not complaining about it. It's a real good system. Uh, they have a real good group. They always, they always, they always gonna support you, and they have training two times a week, all the time, live trading. And thank you very much, friends. God bless you all and be safe. See you guys back on Saturday or Sunday. Bye-bye.